Hi everyone, Mrs V here and today we are going to be learning about how increasing the pressure of a gas in a chemical reaction can influence the rate of that reaction. So let's get straight to it, let's get learning. In this video tutorial we are going to look at two different ways to increase the pressure of a gas sample. We're going to use our knowledge of collision theory to explain why one of these will increase the rate of reaction while the other has no effect on reaction rate. The first way to increase the pressure of a gas sample is to compress it, that is to make its container smaller. We remember Boyle's law from our gas laws study which states that the pressure of a gas sample is inversely proportional to its volume provided the number of moles of gas and the temperature stays the same. Reducing the volume increases gas pressure. Remember, gas pressure is caused by collisions between gas particles and the walls of the container. If the container is more crowded, there will be more wall collisions. From our studies of concentration, we know that concentration is equal to moles over volume. So if the volume is smaller, the concentration is larger because you have the same number of moles of gas, but you're just dividing it by a smaller number. When the container is more crowded, there will be more collisions between the gas molecules, that is, between the reactants. As we saw in our concentration and reaction rate video, increasing the concentration of reactants increases the number of collisions, and this statistically increases the number of effective collisions. Remember, the scientific way to say that is collisions with the correct orientation for new bond formation and the sum of kinetic energy of colliding molecules being greater than or equal to the activation energy for the reaction. There is a way to increase the pressure of a gas without changing the size of its container, and that is by adding an inert gas. With the extra gas molecules in the container, there's going to be more wall collisions, so the pressure will be higher. We see in this second container, adding some helium atoms is going to mean that container is more crowded. The particles are going to collide with the walls more often, so that is going to increase the pressure. The container is more crowded, so there will be more collisions between the gas molecules. However, not all the gas molecules in the container are reactants. Some are the inert gas. Some of the collisions will be with the helium atoms. The rate of the collision between reactant molecules doesn't actually increase. If the rate of collisions between reactants is the same, then nothing will happen to the reaction rate. So in summary, Increasing gas pressure by decreasing the volume does increase the rate of reaction because there are more collisions and a statistical increase in effective collisions. However, increasing gas pressure by adding an inert gas does not change the rate of reaction. That's all for today. If you found this video useful, then please consider giving it a like. And as always, to keep learning more about this absolutely fascinating subject of chemistry, please subscribe to my channel and watch some more videos. I am going to see you guys in the next video.